It's go time. Today we are going to talk about poop. Poop, 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 I'm going to talk to you about my routine, what does what I do that works for me to avoid bowel accidents and everything. Um, but I guess first of all, as a quadriplegic and anybody really who's paralyzed, you lose bowel function and bladder function, and so those become some pain points. So instead, we've come up with routines that help us to avoid having bowel issues on a daily basis. Everybody does it a little bit different, and I'm going to just show you what works for me, and hopefully it can give you some ideas or help out or just educate you in general. The routine for me starts the night before. I start off every night with Miralax, or it's knockoff brands. This is called Gentle Lax from Kroger. Anyway, it is a laxative, so it's to help kind of flush things out, and I take just a small dose of it every night before I go to bed. It's dissolvable in liquid and doesn't have a taste, so it's actually pretty easy to go down. Next most important is fiber. Ugh. And this is Metamucil. It is a fiber supplement drink that I take. This one is pretty good because it has an orange taste. It's like drinking a little bit of orange juice or tang in the morning. And I just take that with my meds. So it's a normal thing to do. If we are ever traveling, or I just want to have a flavorful gummy taste in the morning. We use these fiber advanced gummies. They also work just as well as Metamucil. Super tasty as well. Next up are these mini enemas. Oh, the furs. So I used to do these daily where I would get this and it just goes up the butt and you do a little squish and then it triggers a response in the bowel to actually uh, bring out a bowel movement. But I couldn't do them on my own and I was still having bowel accidents on a more frequent base than I wanted to. So I needed to find a better alternative. So we are gonna show you real life. Right here is poop. Poop. I love that but there's poop on my floor. I needed to find a better alternative. What I did find as a better alternative was these. These are called the Magic Bullet. These Magic Bullets, I was recommended by a few people as well, but I found these Magic Bullets that I was able to uh, figure out how to use on my own, and although it took a little bit longer, I ended up having better bowel movements and having way less accidents. And my lovely assistant will show you how they work. Well, not how they work. But yet. how to open it and what they look like. It's a bullet. Thank you, lovely assistant. You're welcome. This is the tool I use to insert the magic bullet. So I'm able to unwrap the magic bullet and I put it in this little tool, like so. But I can also do it. And then I strap it around my hand, like. So, wow, and then it goes up into my bowels, rectum, mm -hmm. and I leave it up there as a, as a, as a spring loaded, so once it goes up there, it's pushed out like that, and then boom, it's gone, and it's in my bum. And it tr also triggers a response in my bowels to make them go. The final and my least favorite tool, but an effective tool as well, is the Digisim tool. Yes, it looks like a medieval torture tool. It's basically what it is. So what this does is when I, after I have had my bowel movements triggered manually, I strap this on my hand and I go up there and it acts as a finger and I'm able to uh, manually excavate the remaining things that didn't want to come out on its own. And I don't have to. <laughs> no one else but myself. This is a catheter. Nice catheter. Cut! That's how I pee. So as I don't have bladder control and I don't have the ability to empty my bladder fully, 
I need to use a catheter to uh, empty it and make sure I don't have any issues. So I'm able to take off the top. It comes with this little bag in here and it is a twist off. So I'm able to use my teeth. And then I pop it out like this and that's what it looks like. And then I just insert it and my bladder starts to empty into the bag. And when I'm done, I am able to put this back in here and drain out the pee out of the bag into the toilet. And then I throw it away. This is my shower wheelchair. It's different obviously than my normal wheelchair. It is built to go in the shower and it has a little cutout, actually a few different cutouts in the seat that help me to go to the bathroom. So obviously I have a hole out here so that I can go in the toilet and the chair just slides over the toilet and fits nicely and snug. And then it has these cutouts on the side and the back. So it has the sides cut out here so I can actually reach under and put things in my bum. And that's the advantage of the clover seat. I have a seat belt as well on here. It's Velcro so I can do it up and down myself. But I once early on had a stomach spasm and it threw me out of the chair. So after that, I put a seat belt on there so I didn't fall out of the chair anymore. So my morning routine, the chair and everything is set up so that I can do this all independently. Sloan oftentimes helps just for the sake of time because I like to sleep in and Blue does not like it, but I usually am able to, I can do this on my own if someone's out of town or whatever, I'm pretty good with handling everything and it's really nice to have a setup that works. Sometimes your routine will work great for a long time and then all of a sudden your body just says, nope, we're doing, we need to do something different. And so we're always I'm constantly adapting, trying to find new things that work best for me. But so far, the setup that I have and I've explained tonight has worked really good for me and I have not had really any accidents in quite a while. A couple questions that came in via the Instagram. Uh, number one was, do I use a suppository every time and what do I do to avoid stomach aches? Uh, yes, I use a suppository every time unless I'm having one well, we'll talk about in a minute, but unless I'm having or about to have a bowel accident and I catch it before. Um, but yeah, I use suppositories every time. What I do to avoid is what we talked about. I use Miralax and Metamucil and suppositories to help it have a good flush. Second question was, do I know when I need to go? And yes, for the most part, but like if it's going to happen, I can tell and I can usually get to a toilet to avoid an accident. Um, but most of the time I just stick on a routine to avoid accidents in the future. The question that we had was, do I think it's better to go in the morning or the night? Really just depends on your schedule, what works best for you. I've, and how your day is. Yeah, I've changed it up. For me personally, I've been going in the morning for a while just because it was most convenient, but we're trying it out to go at night now just to see if that's any more convenient. Another question that came in was, was I trained for the things that I have to do to help Matt? The answer was no. I trained her. Matt trained me. He was taught to vocalize on how to explain the things that he needs from people. And so, yeah, he's always just kind of told me what to do and then we figured out what worked best for us and we just do our thing. Do I gag when helping Matt? Do I well, gag? Most of the time not, but you have a couple of times. I don't think I'm a gagger. Um, he is a grown man and so he smells, but it's not the end of the world. Sometimes. It's a good thing you're cute. Can I transfer onto the throne or shower chair? Yes, absolutely. I'm able to do that all independently. I can transfer, I can get the suppository and put it into the suppository inserter and insert it and digestim and clean myself up and get into the shower and shower completely independently. I can do all of the whole morning routine 100% by myself, which is very convenient so that Sloan doesn't have to help me out most of the time. Most of the time. But there are some Which is a huge blessing. Sometimes some quadriplegics have to wear a colostomy bag. I do not. I just do it all independently. But. Which explain what a colostomy can't even. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> no, a colostomy bag is basically a, I don't know exactly how it works, but it's a bag that 
your bowels empty into rather than going to the bathroom and then you empty out that bag later. But I don't use that. But some do. So good luck with that. <coughs> Dying. Another question that came in is what do we do when we are not home with his shower chair or just with our routine? And the feeling strikes. And it's time to go. What do we do, Matt? Either I crap myself, which is definitely not the preferred method, or we just try to find a bathroom that we can get into and Sloan will help plop me onto the toilet. Mm -hmm. I let it fly. She helps clean me up. And then we're on our way. Yeah. So Easy peasy. I always keep a few gloves and wipes in my backpack just in case, but for the most part, we're able to avoid that. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you learned a lot about poop. <laughs> Not about poop. And about how, how I poop. poop. And hopefully it can help others that may be in the same situation. Blue agrees. Remember to subscribe and like us on Instagram or whatever. And catch us next time. Love you.